Hey, welcome back to Virginia this morning. You know, Art for the Journey is a Richmond-based nonprofit organization that promotes the well-being and healing of children and adults through creative expression. Mark Heyerholzer, the CEO, and Jamie Wigginton, Director of Programs, are uh, here to share more about their partnership with For Art Sake Gallery and an upcoming student art exhibit exhibition. Thanks for joining us. It's great to see you. Thank Thanks you, for you guys. having us. Yeah. This is a really fantastic program. Mark, tell us a little bit more about Art for the Journey, what it is, and, and really the mission of what's going on. Well, essentially, we overcome barriers and transform lives through creating art. And we bring the art-making experience and a community of volunteers and artists who celebrate the art-making experience to populations of people who don't normally have access or who are um, experiencing some kind of situation in their life that prevents them from being able to interact uh, as the rest of us can in, in society. And Jamie can tell you about um, our programs. Yeah, tell us about the programs, Jamie, and how you've seen a person develop and really move forward through the artwork that they've created. Sure. We started our um, mission by reaching out to women at, in Goochland at the prison, and we go there every other week. We've been doing it since 2014. And we have seen girls go from painting just a star in the middle of the page to beautiful oil landscape impressionist wow. um, pieces of beautiful art that people pay money for. And they say things continually like, when you're here, I don't feel like I'm in prison. This mm -hmm. has given me something that I can take with me, a skill and something that makes me feel valuable. And um, not only do they receive the benefit of the art, but we receive back the benefits of serving them and um, feel like it's been so valuable that we wanted to continue taking this mental well-being to other groups throughout the community. So now, since 2014, we've reached out to several at-risk groups of youth. We have developed a program, an art program at Anna Julia Cooper School. We work with, most recently, um, victims of PTSD at the VA Medical Center. Um, we go and work with children who have juvenile diabetes. We have um, been doing a program for the past year with third year medical students at VCU Medical School because nobody really realizes it, but they're, under, yeah. they're <laughs> undergoing a ton yeah, of stress. And so they say things like, I don't, I've forgotten all about my lab work and all the things that were really bogging me down while I was here. This is the best thing I've done in my life. And one student wow. even said, um, we have a program for low-income seniors and then one of our most vibrant exciting programs is a program we do with elders suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's and we do that weekly at St. Mary's Woods and Art for the Journey feels very privileged because we have been certified to train other people how to bring this program to their facility. So now anybody can come to Art for the Journey and learn how to bring this program called Opening Minds Through Art, which is, was developed by Scripps Gerontology at Miami University. And they can come to us and learn how to do it and bring it to their facility. So we feel like we're spreading seeds throughout the region to help people with mm -hmm. Alzheimer's and dementia. Just appreciate that list and mm -hmm. the diversity of groups involved there and the transformative power that art mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. on all of them. Mm -hmm. You've got a great event coming up. We do. Well, on Friday, uh, for Art's Sake, which is another art organization, is actually going to have their annual fundraising event uh, to benefit Art for the Journey. Um, there's going to be art for sale. There's also going to be a raffle of a communal art piece that was created by the group of artists who work there. And uh, all of this will then go to benefit the programs of Art for the Journey. How rewarding, how gratifying is this for both of you to see that this artwork, this canvas right here is just really making inroads and an impact on people? It, it, it really is amazing. I, I started out, um, painting and, and learning uh, oil, oil painting kind of as a way to relax in my own life and found that after I retired and started working, uh, decided I would work as an artist uh, and started teaching, and the same thing began to happen to people who were involved at the classes. And it was out of that experience that these conversations led us to the idea of taking it 
to people who don't normally have access to these things. And the magic isn't just around the people that we serve, but we have volunteers, uh, artist and non-artist volunteers in all of our programs who also benefit from this experience of helping or being involved in, um, uh, in making uh, a better life possible for other people through the transformative process of art making. Isn't it so powerful, Jamie, the story that you shared with the VCU medical students and inviting folks to learn this technique to be able to plug it into their groups. You must have countless stories of how the aha moment happens mm -hmm. for everyone. We do, we do. And um, as Mark said, he was teaching an art class and we all felt such solace and an escape while we were there. And we wanted to take that to other people. And I'd like to mention the fact that Mark is a wonderful oil impressionist landscape painter. He's and, exceptional. And, <laughs> yes. Oh, thank and you. Thank so you. those folks that decide to take an art class from him, all of the proceeds go to Art for the Journey and then take art to the community. Yeah. It's awesome. We've got some information right here about the event. The For Art's Sake Student Art Show opening reception is coming up Friday, May 11th from 5 to 8 p.m. at the For Art's Sake Studio in Henrico. A portion of the proceeds will go to Art for the Journey. It's a marvelous, marvelous organization. We're going to post a link on our show website by early this afternoon, about 2 o'clock or so. With all the details, if you're interested, just head on over to WTBR.com slash VTM. Thank you so much, folks. We appreciate it. Good luck. Yeah.